Hey guys, John with Alfred Homesteading. I was just going to show you around real quick to see kind of our progress. We're working on uh, finishing some of our uh, framing, reframing of the windows now that we found a different window. Uh, this one over here that we got uh, last weekend. Um, so we had to reframe this down to actually make that window fit. And uh, so anyway, let me show you what we did. So as you can see, here's the opening. And we just had to come in, put your new uh, base uh, plate there, and put new uh, spots in where the drywall and stuff can attach to. And went right up to the top. Just put small spacers in over here. That way when they come and foam, they can still spray foam in between here. And we'll have a good seal. Those are our two smaller windows. Here's our bathtub and stuff. By the way, this is a new camera, temporary camera while we get the other one repaired. And then this window over here is going to be right here above the tub area. And we're going to take the window that's normally like this. It opens up like that and put it up here like this and open it like that. So we can let uh, air into the bathroom and help it to get rid of uh, all the moisture and stuff. And then we've been working on wiring. Wiring, wiring, wiring. Uh, we're going to have floodlights and cameras and stuff there. Interior wiring here. So we got more and more wiring all over the place here. Boxes going in. We decided uh, to go ahead and bring the washer and dryer in and put them basically on the other side of this wall. So we got a uh, a unit here for attaching PEX wire and uh, PEX and stuff directly into the wall. So we got our connections there. Here's our uh, supplemental power box um, and all the wiring and stuff to go along with that. Drilled all our holes. So it's coming along. Have a little bit more left to do here in the kitchen and stuff. Just got to finish this area, a couple switches. Um, we did end up having to go and uh, picked up some um, number eight wire and uh, ran into this conduit here. Uh, we've got this uh, direct burial conduit. We took all the way out here. We brought all this conduit, all this stuff here from the center of the house and basically moved it to the edge since we're going to have that additional addition right there and uh, we're going to trench all the way down here to make all the lines closer to electric and propane instead of having to deal with all the stuff down here. We can't use these wires here and all this Romex that we were going to use to go in the conduit. Um, we did end up having to come and buy specifically um, you know multi uh, multi-strand wire and stuff here. This is 8 gauge. Uh, we got we can go up to 50 amps on this and this is what's uh, basically running this is what's basically going to be running the house here. Hey, there's turkey and there's our little turkey, my little turkey. It's become big turkey. Going after her and being a good boy. So anyway, um, all of our lines and stuff like I said are going to go from there uh, down here, I mean, this is where the 30 amp service is coming into the trailer, so we'll bring this in, go in here to the service box that is inside here. And everything's going to tie into our uh, main service box here. Then, uh, and then we're also going to take um, all of our pressure tanks all of this system and stuff down here the pressure tanks the filtration and all that kind of stuff uh, we're going to take all this and reconfigure it inside over there in the new built in the new uh, addition so uh, pressure tanks and everything and all the stuff will be out of the cold and uh, it'll all be in this uh, this little addition we put on right there I know I know little baby so we got um, our water line and everything is going to go 
we're going to have water, gas, and uh, electric all come down this trench here. We got the backhoe up and running and stuff, so we'll be using that to uh, go ahead and get everything done. And that is kind of it for now. We're trying to get this done because today is Saturday. We're just supposed to be getting foam and stuff coming in the beginning of the week. And uh, we got a lot of work to do in here, so. All right, guys, here's an update from the homestead. We got our, uh, this window here and this window here put in uh, today. We got the flashing and stuff done on that. Those are still gonna need to be taken out and realigned and everything, but I got the hole done for the casement window we just got from uh, Rolla. That was from before. And uh, so let me get a little bit closer so you can see it. So there's our uh, second bedroom window. Obviously you've seen our door before. Here's our living room casement window. We gotta, we're gonna have to get some screens for these. Here is our kitchen window. Here's our bathroom window. And then this is the uh, guest bedroom window. There's Kelly. There's Kelly going. Uh, we're gonna have spotlights and uh, security cameras and stuff around the whole thing in all directions. Um, there's the other uh, casement window we just got for the bedroom. We just got that. This section here, as you, we've talked about before, we decided to go ahead and add on another four feet or so this direction here. That way we can bring our washer and dryer that are in there into here and put the freezer on this side, washer dryer will go here instead of the freezer going here. We're moving the freezer here, washer dryer from there, and bringing those here. So we'll have to deal with some drainage and stuff with that for gray water. But uh, that'll keep um, piping and some freezing. And then our water system, the water system that's back there, we're gonna bring the pressure tanks and the filtration and everything and bring it right here as well. So uh, have everything uh, in one place. I'm not sure.